LS225 plus and 1500 plating thickness gauge. This is the host of LS225 plating thickness gauge, which needs to be used with a probe. This is an 1500 digital probe which adopts a very hard to tatters for measuring. N1500 probe uses a unique digital probe technology that integrates digital processing circuitry. Avoiding noise interference from analog signals and ensuring accurate signal acquisition. The N1500 probe can be connected to the LS225 host via this plug. N1500 digital probe has a large measuring range of 0 to 1500 micrometer. With this probe, LS225 can measure the thickness of non-magnetic plating such as galvanized, tin-plated, copper-plated and painted platings on ferromagnetic metal substrates. The LS225 plating thickness gauge can also continuously measure platings on metal surfaces. Keep the probe pressed against the surface and drag the probe. 0.4 seconds to obtain one measurement data. LS225 plating thickness gauge supports multi-point calibration. One to five point calibration options are available. Zero adjustment is required prior to calibration and is recommended on uncoated workpieces. Press the probe vertically on the uncoated workpieces. Follow the instrument prompts. Measure the uncoated workpieces again. A zero value indicates a successful zero adjustment. If uncoated workpieces are not available, the supplied zeroing plate can be used to complete zero adjustment. For a five-point calibration, five standard pieces need to be measured in order from thin to thick. Once the measured value has been obtained, the actual value column need to be adjusted to the actual thickness of the pieces. After finishing all operations, save the calibration results. Unique correction curve algorithm makes good linearity of measurement results. The instrument supports zero adjustment and multipoint calibration to ensure the accuracy of measurement data over the full range of different substrates to plus or minus 2% of reading plus 0.3 micrometers. The N1500 digital probe can also be fixed to this fixture for testing, which can avoid the slight wobble that might occur when measuring manually and reduces human error. The clamp at the bottom of the stand can be freely adjusted to the width of the material so that it can be held firmly in place, making it easy to measure special shaped or small workpieces when measuring manually and reduces human error. The clamp at the bottom of the stand can be freely adjusted to the width of the material so that it can be held firmly in place, making it easy to measure special shaped or small workpieces. With the probe fixed in the fixture, the LS225 can measure stably. Its repeatability is can reach 0.1 micrometers, making it ideal for measuring ultra-thin platings. How to use the fixture? This is the test grip. The round screw is used to adjust the height of the hand grip downwards. The silver handle is used to adjust the measuring position and the measuring height of the fixture. When adjusting the height of the fixture, you need to hold this part of the fixture with one hand. Then loosen the silver handle and lift the fixture upwards until it reaches a suitable height. Then tighten the handle. Take care when adjusting the fixture because it's very heavy. This holder is movable and lowered by gravity. The pressure of the probe is exactly equal to the gravity of the holder. Thus ensuring that the pressure of the probe in contact with the material is the same each time when measuring. The independent pressure ensures the accuracy of the data. The handle can continue to be pressed down after the probe has touched the surface of the material. Sometimes the holder will touch the material and causes it shakes just like this. This situation can be avoided by adjusting the height of the handle. Press the handle down, then stop when the probe has touched the surface of the material and the measuring result is obtained. Loosen the screw and fix again when it falls down. Fixing the height of the handle press, it will be easier to operate. The LS225 plating thickness gauge has an intelligent statistical function that records the latest 9 sets of test data.
Automatic statistics for maximum, minimum, average, and standard deviation. The recorded data can be viewed by scrolling up and down flip buttons. Press and hold the back button to clear the recorded data. Short press the power button to enter the main menu interface. In the main menu, select Settings to enter the settings interface. There are four setting options, Language, Units, Auto Off Time and Measurement Mode. Language options are available in Chinese and English. Press the up and down flip buttons to select. Back button for confirmation. Units are